What's up guys? We are back at it again in Rotterdam. And there's a reason why I keep coming back to Rotterdam is because I love uh, I love the restaurants where you have Turkish restaurants here. And after a nice ride in this cold weather, I like going there and then sitting, ordering a nice cup of Turkish tea. And you know, having a sip of the Turkish tea, it really warms up your uh, your insides. But yeah, the reason for this video is because Mr. Danoff, Mr. Danoff in Sweden, he challenged me, uh, Mace Face and Stan the Moto Man, uh, to start recording and just keep filming until the battery runs out and then uh, make a vlog or edit that into a vlog. Apparently, that seems to be a challenge for a few people, but not for this guy over here. Because uh, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, I'm an animator. Even though there is no footage, I can create footage. Do you know what power... Oh, I have to break. I can create footage. Do you know what kind of power these hands have? Do you know what these hands can create? It's footage. It can create footage, for, at least. It can create footage because I can't record with my hands. But it can uh, create some funny stuff. Hello. Nope. Nope. Nobody's waving back. See, and that's that's the mindset of the people here in Holland. The weather is shitty, so they become shitty. I am far too happy for the people in Holland here. I can just like start wielding the Excalibur. I can put in a lightsaber in one hand. I can. I can start shooting people if I want, like... Can you guys do that? Can you guys start shooting people willy-nilly without being a criminal? Without being, without becoming a criminal? I think not. I can have myself wield anything I want. Anything. <laughs> but yeah, since you have challenged me as a gentleman, it is my right to accept this challenge. Even though it's very windy and my bike gets blown left and right. And I wish I got blown left. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the weather forecast said it was raining, it was going to rain all day and there's like a small space of drought so I can record and I can show you guys some stuff because I have a few things I want to show you uh, where is it? 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 Ah, I almost fell you know what, let's go right here let's go right here the bridge, I don't know man, it's, it's very magnificent. And that is even cooler with all the lights and shit. <clears throat> Let's see if we can... Uh... Nope, I'm not allowed to go left there. But I wanna, I wanna so bad. Can I... Nobody's watching, right? Nobody's watching, nobody's watching, nobody's watching. That man's watching. <laughs> Dead. Nobody's watching anymore. <laughs> That's how we do it. Am I allowed to go down? I'm not sure. But well, I'm gonna do it anyway. And say that I'm a professional photographer. I'm gonna call myself Stan the Photo Man. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Oh my god, he's watching me. I hope he's not going to come up and talk to me. Eh. I'm not sure what this represents. That, that thing up top, that's a penthouse for this hotel. And the view looks very cool. I wanted to stay there once, but it was so expensive. And I thought, you know what? I, I'll just close the window with my peasant ass and never look at it again. I'm not sure why, but my ass feels wet. We are back. Should I ride up the stairs? Nah. 
Maybe, maybe if I had like an adventure bike or something. Yeah, romantic. Uh, let's go up. Yeah, let's go. I want to bring you guys like at night time here to show you the bridge and the lights and, su and such. But currently it's so fucking cold here in Holland and it keeps raining. So I'll have to wait for the weather to uh, to improve before I do that. Do you see that white building over there? That's a very interesting building. Let me uh, let me ride beside it and I'll show you. I'll show you why. Oh my God! Did you hear that pop? It scared the shit out of me. If you're a '90s kid, you might start to remember. If you're a '90s kid and you liked action uh, action movies, you might remember this. I'll show you, I'll show you. Let me just... <laughs> this building, oh fucking hell. Now you have the sun. But this building, this is building like over there. That's the building where Jackie Chan jumped off in the movie, uh, Who Am I? Like he, he went over there, he said, no, 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 I do not want to fight. And then he jumped off and killed himself. Or uh, maybe he just slid off here and then went, like broke the window there. But if you, if you see this, it's freaking crazy for him to slide off here. And this building here, which is now a, uh, a gym. This building here was a restaurant where he sat and he, and he found out that the uh, girl he was with, the journalist, is actually a secret, a secret cop. Uh, which is a spoiler, by the way. How the fuck do I get back? Do I need to turn? I think I have to go back and turn. I can fit through this one. Hopefully not to die. We gonna take a last look. That's the building where he slid off from. And the Erasmus Bridge. That's the bridge where he, where the movie ended. When I was little, I thought it was this bridge, but it was that one instead. Like that's the bridge where it all ended. Where he was in the weird three-wheeled golf cart. There's a, there's a lot of locations here in Rotterdam. If you guys are interested, I might do a video where I go through every major, like every key location that happened in that movie. And we could just all go go through it and uh, I can tell, tell you which scene played there. Because they, uh, what the hell am I doing here? Like they, they faked a lot in the movie. It seemed like it was all happening around that place over there in Rotterdam. But uh, in reality, they, they, they took a scene all the way over there. They took a scene 20 minutes that way. They took a scene like in the city center and they took a scene like in the cube houses uh, a little bit back. I th we went underneath them. We went underneath them. But they, they took a scene there and then just, oh, they all mashed it together. And uh, it all looked like it was, it was connected to each other. But in reality, it's not. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I can, I can do a video like that where we go through like where we go to every every key location in that movie and maybe it was interesting to see how it changed from then till now and if there are more movies like that that you guys are interested with i can do them as well for example you had like the uh what's what was the name the hitman's bodyguard or something which played in uh, amsterdam where they where they uh like where they bumped a car into the water somewhere. I, I can show you that location as well, but they faked a lot in that movie. They, they said they were in The Hague. Uh, well, in reality, they weren't. Like they were somewhere random. I don't know exactly where, but they just made, they just pasted a 3D model of the of The de Hague skyline. I was very, I, I was, uh, I'm uh, honestly, I was pretty upset by that because I was, very eager to see how they would portray The Hague and then they just didn't. 
They just fake the whole shit. Like even uh, some of the windmills are fake in that movie. They're like, oh, we're in Holland, so we gotta show windmills. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike, comment, why you think I'm an asshole. And uh, still subscribe so you can hate on more videos if you want. And follow me on social media because it's it's fun. Instagram is very lively. Facebook is getting there. And Twitter is uh, pretty small. But it's uh, like Instagram is a lot of fun. I do a lot of Q&A's there. Yeah, I get a, I get a good reaction from those. And not just Q&A like, what's the best bicycle to start on? It's, it's some of them are very personal. Some of them are not. A uh, few of them are very funny. So if you're interested, join. Why won't you join? It won't hurt you following me on Instagram. <laughs>